Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Creepy Pasta Park. Don't worry, I'm not going through another run through uh, like the one with Dracula. There's actually a few things I wanted to show you that actually didn't make it into the final cut of the little Dracula tour I did. And it made me feel bad that some of the things didn't make it in there, like especially the animatronics, if you can actually hear me. I'll try to turn down the park uh, music in the actual edit of the video. But certain things like these like witches' cauldron areas that I set up, like forests and stuff. Let's see, uh, Halloween Railway. This one right here is actually a railway that runs all the way from the next to the entrance of the park all the way to the other end of the park. It goes through here, over here, down here, and then it sort of stops right about there. And passengers can get off on the other side of the park. And if they're coming from this side of the park, it goes all the way through this mountain. Down here, oh, let me center the camera around this way, the front of the front of the rails down here and then through through here through this actual mountain uh, well a hill there's like a hill it goes through and that was that was pretty cool and then it goes to the front entrance of the park so people have accurate transportation now the peeps don't really know it's entirely for transportation I think they just ride it as an actual ride let me show you some of the animatronics that got cut um, they, they didn't they're still there and they've always been there. It's just I didn't really get the chance to show them. This is one of the standing statues. He's pretty cool. And some of the non-rideable rides. Uh, I don't know. Some of the non-rideable rides uh, didn't make it into the final cut either. Like, let's see. This isn't a, this in a, bleh. This isn't a non-rideable ride. But it's one of the things that got cut from the final edit. It's, um... You know there are little zombie hands sticking out of the ground and the skulls on the ground to make it sort of look like a, a graveyard of sorts. There's pumpkin patches, skulls, Iron Maidens. Now that is animatronic. It is actually animated. And I put it next to the path that actually scares peeps. You know, they, they don't know it's there, but you know, it just gives ambiance to the scene. Um, those are trash cans, the little pumpkin trash cans. I mean, I basically had the park all fully decked out, you know? Of course, I don't know why there are seagulls instead of bats, but... I should have hired more janitors. There's trash everywhere. This is another one of the animatronics. It's like this mummy scarab scene from Egypt. And it's kind of got that spooky Halloween feel, too. And he, like, wakes up and then goes back to sleep, terrifies the guests. Um, these trees are actually part of the animatronic set. Even though they don't move, their eyes are, uh, like, lit, so they count as, I guess, animatronics. There's also a few of these uh, gallows here. I always love those. Well, the cages and whatnot. There's a few more trees, gravestones on the sides of the path. I used um, conjoining path that they sort of, I think they sort of blend in. I don't know, that part I didn't really like. They don't blend in very well. No, they definitely don't. And obviously, not much of it got shown, but there's this large sort of building I tried to make look like a castle. And from the bottom, it's actually kind of convincing, but you can see that the tile, um, the roof tiles are actually incredibly difficult to place. These ones I got all in the right place, but these ones I actually had to raise up because they have to be a certain distance above the track beneath them. And since there was already a track running through there, I had to raise them up. But the walls and windows and sides are really nice. It's sort of got that fort feel. It was supposed to be a castle, but it definitely looks more like a fort, something you'd see off of The Elder Scrolls of Oblivion if you've ever played it. And it, it's kind of got that nice feel to it. Um, this guy is only in the clip for like a split second, but the whole roller coaster is designed around him. It's supposed to go loop and then up and then right into the headless horseman. You know, that, that's that got a really nice feel to it. Uh, Black Widow's got a lot of, um, like, this is the Black Widow coaster. It's got a lot of those uh, windmills on the sides of it. 
Uh, the paths have a lot of these giant skulls. Um, I wish I could have put the path through the skull, but unfortunately the path is too wide to fit through the gap in the mouth there, which, honestly, if there's a gap there, I don't, or like, if nothing, if no path can actually go through there, I'm not sure why they put the gap there, unless they wanted me to build a path up to it, then skip that part, and then build behind it, and people would just sort of get the idea. Where's another one of my favorite animatronics? I think he's somewhere, there he is, he's on this path. It's this skeleton that pops out and scares people. I love that. Pops right out of the grave. It's so cool. Let me just close out of that real quick. What else can I uh, show, show you? Some of the non-rideable rides. Um, ones that you can, you can preview the ride, but there's no real ride there. Of course, you saw Frankenstein's Castle. I made this one from scratch. Like, put the walls up, put the roof up, put the little window there. Put the roofs over here and then the towers, and Frankenstein in between. I didn't make Frankenstein, obviously. Take down that thing. Oh, that's odd. Usually I can knock the feathers off of Um, Here's one of the non rideable rides. This is actually the Mirror Maze. You can preview the ride for it, but it, once you do, it just shows you the inside of a fun house. And you can't really go in there, it's just a fun mirror house. And, but but the peeps really enjoy it. The you know the park guests. Uh, this is another one of the non-rideable rides. Uh, you preview that one, and it's sort of what I wanted to build. Well, I'm gonna need to turn that way down. It's sort of what I wanted to build, like a haunted house ride, a ride where you get in the coaster. Let me see if somebody will actually get on it. I can actually show it. You see how it goes inside the building. And then it's going to pop out of the building here and go around this track. Just like you've seen some of the other... There it is, Haunted House Attractions. I love that. And it pops out and goes around. And, you know, you can only imagine what's actually in there, but it doesn't let you switch to the peeps cam because, you know, that's, the ride's not actually big enough. And unfortunately, for some reason, no one ever queues for this ride. They never come up here. Hang on. I want to see if these guys are coming up. I want to see if they get on the ride. Come on. No one ever gets on it. Like, I don't think I've ever seen this even turn since I put it here. I really don't. Please. Yes, pay the ticket. Get on the ride. Oh, my goodness. Is someone actually going to ride on this ride? I hope I have it set to wait for any load. Because if any load gets on there, it'll go. Okay, come on. Start it up. Start. Yes, finally. I've never seen this thing actually run. Because the path to get to it was so long that nobody, like none of the park guests actually want to bother coming up here. But it gives such an amazingly good view of the park. I love it. Well, if I can get this guy's head out of the way. Oh, they're queuing together. That's nice. Of course, it's like flies and spiders, but I really love the idea of that for a Is that it? Once around? Oh, well, that's hot garbage. No wonder no one queues for it. Huh. Now, this part, uh, this part obviously didn't make it into the final cut either. Um, unfortunately, this one is like a... It had the theme of not necessarily Mars attacks, but... Just Martians on Halloween, you know, some kids will dress up as Martians, or um, there's also some Arabian stuff in there from like an adventure pirate theme, you know. Um, some, kid dress, some kids dress up as pirates, you know, for Halloween. Some kids dress up as robots, Martians. You've seen it. And for some reason, there's some, like, problem with this ride. Hang on, I want to fix this. This is, this is ridiculous. I've got to fix this. Just that. Free these people. Just free them. And then smooth this out. Like, I have been trying so hard to just figure out what that ride, what, what is actually wrong with that ride. Okay, is it smooth enough for you guys to walk off and get going and finally be free in your lives forever? Okay, great. Now the ride has an entrance. And no exits, 
so I'm gonna try to build another exit. Okay, I think that works. I think we got it. And there's people actually playing on it now. Thank goodness. Stop, huh? And the, hey, two things work since I finally started actually using them. The Ferris wheel and these go-kart rides. And this is actually a really nice section of the park. I really like this. It goes well with the Halloween theme. Because I always felt bad that, you know, there's bear... Oh, and he liked it. He's very happy, see? And I love these animatronics. These robots here, they're incredible. Of course, people are finally queuing up for, I think, this ride. You are oh okay good good they know where the they know where the actual ride is and I didn't I didn't get to go on any of these rides during the um, you know the whole tour thing because there were some parts that got cut out and this part of the park wasn't actually fully completed yet I wasn't sure if these rides were actually going to be okay some of them didn't have music I think this one actually does yeah it's going it's got the music and this isn't half a bad you know cam you know usually the cameras are for coaster cams and stuff like that it's got to be something really really high octane to really get people going uh let's see does this one yeah this one's got a couple people too. and this one's pretty cool too i like it i think it's from the adventure theme I'm, i think those are supposed to be like egyptian birds like Ra, the sun god and it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, you know? Woo, okay, it goes pretty high. Like, like in the park, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, this isn't that exciting, but in real life, a ride like this would be great. I mean, there's plenty of them. I just love the idea of it, you know? I love the idea of a, a roller coaster game that actually lets you ride roller coasters. And this is... This I placed as sort of a... I guess it became an aesthetic item. It's called Planetarium 1. But again, just like a lot of the other rides around here, I've never actually seen anyone get on it. And I'm not entirely certain why, unless there's something that's wrong with the entrance. Like, I, I mean, it looks pretty level. It looks like you could get on it. But, I mean, that sign is kind of in the way. But I could change it so that the sign's not there, and maybe people could pass it then. And of course, the... Egyptian themes and the Arabian themes. Some people do play in this though. This is another one of the non-rideable attractions. That just has like a preview of what it does. And it makes me sort of wonder like, what's it like in there? Because you know it's laser tag, but it looks so cool from the outside. They don't look happy. I'm sorry, they don't look happy. Well that sucks for them. Because it's an amazing, it's an amazing experience they should be happy. And a lot of people had a lot of trouble getting on this ride as well. I don't really know if I've ever seen anyone ride this one. Uh, it doesn't look like any... Are they about to get in on it? Maybe? Um, is anyone... How do I check to see if anyone's queuing? Hold on. Go on. Get on it. Get on, okay, good, good. So the entrance does work. Okay. Does the ticket price work? Yeah, yeah. You can pay the ticket. You can get on. Two people queuing. Oh, see, it's strange. I've never seen anyone ride them, but for some reason, when I'm when I'm actually here, they ride it. Oh, what? You mean I can't see it from their perspective? Peep cam. Oh. I gave it good music. Yeah, that's the, that's the peep cam. Wait, let me change to a... No, that's different rides. Yep, that's it. Oh Well, it's fun for them. I guess you have to use your imagination on some of them. But I always love the idea of being able to ride the roller coasters and such. I think there's... Oh, and of course there's also the food stands, beverage stands, places where you can buy food and beverage. This is a stand that sells uh, funny joke items. There's some more animatronics, little ghosts popping up from uh, behind gravestones. There's my little favorite animatronic the um, skeleton again. I thought there was an animatronic for a, a Dracula that sort of pops up from out of nowhere, but I haven't seen it lately. Uh, that's Castle Dracula. You can actually place that as an object. Uh, a single object. You don't have to build it. 
And I'm pretty sure I got all the roller coasters. That one was one of my favorite. That was, uh, let's see, what was this one called again? I'm pretty sure I got on it. Rolling Thunder. Oh, yeah, I remember. Rolling Thunder. It was cool. The Mirror Maze. I think there's one other, one or two other things I missed. Uh, I showed that. Castle, there's another Castle Dracula over there. There's the Witch's Coven. This uh, ride also has a Headless Horseman and a few other Witch's Covens. Uh, it, it's a lot to go to, to go over. Um, that one is, it's not Dracula's Castle. It's actually, it's actually just, I think it's called Haunted Mansion, is it? Huh, well, it, well, it doesn't let me see it, but let's see. There's pumpkin pies right there. Tree stumps, burning, uh, full, oh, um, here's what, uh, two more things I wanted to show. One, um, is a mini graveyard. No, one is the actual maze that never made it into the, <laughs> never made it into the final edit. Now, l look at, look at how this is actually a robotic park full of robots, aliens, and pirates, and adventure themes, and the actual mascot for the alien theme is this guy right here. And just to show you how effective this maze is that I built, the second I put him right about, I think I put him here, he wandered all the way from here onto this path, and in here, and there is an exit to that maze because obviously there's an entrance. And since I built the park, he still hasn't. <gasps> oh no! You almost had it. You almost made your way out. Come on, this way, this way, this way. Come on, come on, come on. You're almost there. You're almost there. It's been like three days since I made this park. You still haven't made your way out. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it, little guy. He made it. <laughs> Everything's working, right? When I turn on the preview, I'm like, okay, you guys, this is what I had to cut from the video because it didn't work. Oh, oh, never mind. I guess it does work. Well, I had to cut this from the video because it also didn't work. Oh, well, I guess it works too. Everything's working now. This is great. Um, This is a one, another one of our non-rideable attractions. I think it's supposed to, yeah, it's a space arcade. One was a, one was a, um, one was a space arcade. This is the space arcade. And that is the laser gallery, or, you know, the laser gallery. Rocket Boost Cantina 1 is broken down. Saucer's been fixed. More what? Compact Inverted Coaster 1 is still broken considering hiring more mechanics. I probably do. I need to hire more mechanics and, um, and janitors and place them everywhere. And I didn't go on this ride, obviously, because it's just a, you know, slow track. Um, last thing is the zombie topiary. Uh, I, oh, I want to show you. That maze is actually pretty I've probably been recording for too long I'm sorry and I should have done face cam but I didn't no no don't go back don't go back don't go back that's I'm, I'm tired of this no don't go back in the maze. you belong here with the guests for the love of all things alien and you entertain them what do I pay you for goodness Anyway, as I was trying to say, from the perspective of, of an actual park guest, this is actually an effective maze. I wish I could actually, I mean, I can go through it in the camera angle of an actual guest because it actually gives you the ability to set the camera angle into a motion where, you know, you're actually sort of walking through the park. But at the same time, it's slow as Christmas. And it, the you know it, it, it just it clips through so many objects. The camera mode just it has so many issues. Um, I put little houses in there. I built these in the building editor. Um, originally, I was going to make dozens of them to have them fill up an entire neighborhood and then hollow out the centers of the houses, or at least not put the door frame there so that guests could walk in and pretend like they're trick or treating. And you think to yourself, well, it's Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Peeps aren't just going to walk into houses for no reason. So what I was going to do is duplicate a lot of these concession sale, uh, sale stands, duplicate a bunch of the concession sale stands, and then put them inside of the hollowed out houses. And put, you know, lamps, grass, bushes, um, lawn ornaments, you know, 
stuff to make it look like a real house and a real neighborhood. And kids would come and they'd trick or treat. They could actually trick or treat. I mean, in my own time, I can honestly do that, but I, I honestly ran out of time. The actual, you know, Welcome to Creepy Pasta Park episode didn't actually even air until like 8 o'clock my time, which, honestly, too darn late. I should have had it done days before Halloween. So, next year I'll be much more prepared, and if anyone sees this video, what I'm planning on next year is a similar trip into a Halloween themed park, but the next one will be an upgrade to a game called um, Planet Coaster, because it also has a Halloween setting to it, although they offer it as a DLC pack. And before I continue rambling, I've already rambled on far too long, this is the zombie topiary which is filled with these zombie topiary bushes and it was supposed to look like the you know zombie bush version of seven days to die uh the horde night i was going to make it look like horde night and just have dozens and dozens of these and there's several but it just doesn't have that whole terrifying feel of zombies are coming after me i need to run and the only other zombie related item they have is obviously if I can find it again, these hands that I put out. Oh, and I also made this. Uh, well, not the demon, of course. Um, just like the roller coaster that is actually centered around that um, headless horseman that I showed you earlier, that one right there. This roller coaster was actually centered around this demon that you know, and I love it. He's one of my favorite animatronics because of all of his emo like all of his his animation. You know, he has so much depth to him. The fire breathing. The going to sleep, you know, the slumbering, the waking up, the struggling against the chains. The, I think I said the fire breathing already. Don't know why no one's on that coaster anymore. I don't get it. I clicked on a tree instead of the coaster. And this was supposed to be the graveyard of all of his quote-unquote victims. Oh, I really should have put face cam on this because then you could see me doing the special quotes. But it really, it, it just, it does set a good mood, and I really enjoyed it. And I really liked making this, too. I even put, like, the electrifying Frankenstein in there to make it seem like he was being, you know, electrified in the castle. If I can get a good view of it. It's always in the wrong position. It's, it's always in the wrong position. Always wrong position. I, I'm not, I don't want to sit through that ride. But there's more skulls. Uh, let's see, I showed you the maze, the zombie topiary, the houses, uh, pumpkin patches are over there. I think that's just about everything, and there's a lot of trees and scenery and lots of grass, uh, lots of, like, like, uh, leafy, you know, autumn-type paths, you know, gives you that autumn feel, like, uh, or October feel, like, ah, oh, this is, you know, the right time of year. So, that's pretty much everything in the Creepy Post Pasta Park. And, you know, there's still a lot of stuff that I could do with it, or at least a few other things, because I could finish... Uh, I could finish the neighborhood for the trick-or-treating idea, and I'm not sure if I could build more coasters, necessarily. But, um, a lot of the thing that I wanted to do, the main thing that took me hours, it actually turned into this whole maze but that whole maze area used to be an experiment that I was best roller coasters heck yeah uh, an experiment that I was running where I tried to put uh, let me just show you you see this the castle that I showed you earlier ghost house ride one or j just ghost house ride the guests ride these carts into the actual haunted house several hours I tried and I know it can be done but I don't have the expertise to do it I tried to take this entire area and build up this entire area to look like a castle like this with a ride like this inside of it and it's similar but I wanted that ride inside of a castle like this much bigger with all of these animatronics inside the ride so you'd be going through it and it would be it would be like something from um, from Universal Studios. You'd go through the ride, and you would actually see, you know, like monsters popping up from the walls, monsters popping up from the floors. And I mean, I managed to fit Frankenstein in there, and I 
had a few other decorations, but they got in the way of the roller coaster while I was building it, so I had to take them down. And it was, it was kind of nice, but for several hours I tried to make it right, and it just was, it was just never right. It was just never right. Because I could get the walls around the actual track, but it, 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 it mainly turned out like this. And I, I kept this one because it just has a good feel to it, especially a good look from the outside uh, beneath. Because, I mean, it's hard to actually see the angle that I want to get on this, but this is an actual park goer's perspective angle on that actual uh, port. And instead of a castle, you definitely turn it into a castle would be higher. Um, you know, this fort's got a single entrance. Castle would have multiple entrances. Or, well, it's got multiple entrances, but a castle just seems like it would be more angular towards the sky, you know, just higher, more narrow, more drawn in. This is definitely a soldier's form. But it, it worked out really nicely, and I really had a super fun time building the park. And you know what? I never put a mini golf course in here. I should have made a mini golf course. And that's another big house I built. But uh, I'm going to com combine this video with the actual um, explanation that apparently I can't English properly I probably haven't had enough coffee but I'm also going to combine this video with the explanation video that goes um, with the actual background setup I had for Dracula uh, I really enjoyed that too I don't feel like that got enough exposure because of the lighting so as I continue to learn more techniques and more ways to make videos I really love it I really love doing these. Why in the heck is that in the middle of the path? It should be on the side. Anyway, but that's just bugging me now. Delete. Anyway, um, as I continue to learn new techniques and new ways of doing videos and awesome things for entertainment purposes, I will continue to improve and not make simple mistakes like that one like like that one like like that one. yes I mean obviously you know something like this is you know person with an OCD's worst nightmare you know well I don't know obsessive compulsive disorder you know really you know it implores you to get things finished and I'd say this is pretty much good finished I mean I got lights everywhere except for the maze the maze doesn't I don't I didn't want lights in the maze Oh, unless they were these, ooh, I should do that. Oh, God, I'm rambling. I'm so sorry. But I should do that. God, I'm so sorry. Like, these, these, these lights, these goblin lights, also these are animatronics as well that didn't make it into the final cut. They've got a really nice feel to them as well. Scaring the park guests, freaking them out. Imagine those for lighting in the maze. Ooh, and these witches' cauldrons too. I forgot they're a lighting item as well. Okay, so the witch's cauldron and the goblins. That way I don't have to put the uh, the lamps, because I feel like the lamps are, they've been overdone in this park. Just, there's, there's, there's enough of them. There's enough of them, and we don't need any more. I even use different lighting types for the um, Martian uh, and, and Arabian setup. Like, like, you'll see the actual, like, crystal Martian lights. Pigeon. Or are you a crow or a pigeon? What are you? Stop lying to me. Ah, it doesn't matter. Is that a teapot? That's a bloody teapot. Rocket boots can't do That's not a rocket at all. That's a teapot. You're mad. You're a madman. And you can ride this, but it's boring. It's just a it's just it's not it's not 
It would go better in a water park, though. Yeah, that would go great in a water park. I can't wait to build one of those. I might even debut an episode of it. And you, Mr. Alien, you stay here. Don't you wander into that maze again. How did you even get into that maze? You're slow as Christmas. Look at how slow he is. No wonder he never made it out. But anyway, I, I, I've been rambling for far too long. That's all of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3's Creepy Pasta Park. I hope you really love me. They sell hats. Bye! Okay, hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo. I'm doing a little um, back behind the scenes director's commentary on the uh, Halloween special setup that I did. Uh, I guess from the perspective of this video, it'll be just a couple of days ago. Um, I figured a uh, behind the scenes director's perspective would show you a little bit about how I set up this uh, whole stage thing. It wasn't really a rig like I wanted it to be, but it was kind of nice and a lot of it didn't actually come into the shot. I worked really hard on setting it up. Um, that's like a screenshot of the roller coaster park if you can see it. I'm actually holding the light stand that I used for illuminating the uh, set, I guess you could say. Uh, I had these all of this, um, which was going to be another special episode, was like, you know, how to decorate your room or a small section of your room for $12 or under. Because I went to the Dollar Tree and got all of this. These little, um, like, skeleton paper lanterns. Then there's the skeleton paper lantern here. Hang on, let me see if I can get a better shot of that. See, I, I'm still mastering lighting, or still uh, practicing. Uh, we got, like, a little paper lantern, Dracula setup. We have these little houses. Um, they have four sides to them. Unfortunately, you can only see the one side. Each each side of the four sides of the houses has um, different designs on them. And of course, both houses are different. They're really cool. Monster Mash house. There we go. That's a that's a pretty good lighting on that shot. Um, I had the paper napkins under there and um, the you know the cobwebbing on the table. And of course, we've got like these little coffins that I had. And this glow-in-the-dark skeletal hand to cover up the wall. Unfortunately, by the time I was actually ready to set up the recording and everything, the illumination, like the glow-in-the-dark illumination in the hand, had already, you know, gone out because I had to go and do stuff and set up the, you know, stage and everything. So the hand had already gone out, but it lasted for several hours, and it looked really cool. And it, it didn't, unfortunately, make it into the final cut, I guess you could say. We've got this, like, little skeletal happy Halloween coffin with the skeleton holding his heart. And it's just this little paper setup, and all of it costs like $12 at uh, the Dollar Tree. And of course, I had Dracula, like, standing on there, and I, he was sitting, like, right on the edge of the table, and I just used my thumbs to wave his legs around and everything for the, for the, uh, I guess you could say, face cam, if it is. And, of course, I set up this big, like, background, this mural thing, and I don't know if it's, well, it's not a mural, it's a, a wallpaper, uh, like a wall scroll sort of thing, plastic, you know, you just stick to the wall, and it hung up with, like, those little paper, um, with, like, those little clip-ons, and there's the paper lanterns, and I just, I love the way that looks, if I could just get a better angle on it. It's got so much glare to it, though. It's a witch's cauldron. There's a crow there that you probably can't see. It's got different, like, alchem alchemy, and spell books, monster references, curses, and a jar of eyeballs. Oh, Jack Jacksepticeye would love that jar of eyeballs. He sure would. <laughs> then we've got, um, now see, it's, it's terrible. It didn't look, it didn't set up the way I really wanted it to, but it turned out okay. You see, like, me being the age I am, it's like, oh, this is hot garbage. But if I was 12 years old, this would be, this would be really, uh, impressive. But it was really fun to make, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, there's my little camera stand rig that I had this camera on. Basically, you can, well, I can't take a video of the video that I'm taking videos with of, unless I did it with my cell phone, but that's the camera rig. And um, I put this light directly under that rig to illuminate it like so, as you can see. And it didn't, it didn't work out half bad. I'm still working with lighting, you know. I don't have anyone teaching me. I've never been to school, so some of it's hot garbage sometimes. But I had a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching the episode, and until, that, uh, until next time, take it easy, my friends.